Hi everyone, we're doing lesson 8.4 today, loss of logarithms. Calculations of logarithms can be very complicated, so here are three laws of logarithm to make evaluating logarithm easier. First, we have the product law, in which log to the base of a as b plus log to the base of a as c equals to log to the base of a of b times c. We also have the quotient law of logarithm, in which log to the base of a of b minus log to the base of a of c equals to log to the base of a of b over c. Then we have the power law of logarithm, in which log to the base of a of b to the power of x equals to x times log to the base of a of b. So basically you can take this power and put it in front. One restriction is that a, b, and c must be all positive. Here are some special cases of logarithm. When the base of log and this number matches, then the logarithm will be equal to 1. And the logarithm to the base of a, any number of 1, will be equal to 0. We also have a change of base formula in which log to the base of a of b equals the log to the base of c over uh, of b over log to the base of c of a. This formula is most often used when you have to use the previous product law of logarithm or the quotient law of logarithm, but your basis doesn't match. So you use the change of base formula to make the basis match. Let's take a look at example one from your learning resources. Evaluate log to the base of 4 of 16 plus log to the base of 4 of 2 minus log to the base of 4 of 8. So right off the bat, you can see that the bases are all similar. Therefore, we can use the law of product, the product law of logarithm. Step 1, apply logarithm and solve. So we start again by writing down our original equation. Then we use a product law in which 16 times 2 will equal to 32. Then we use our quotient law in which 32 divided by 8 equals to 4. Now take a look at the base and this number. They're equal. Therefore, this logarithm equals to 1. And this is a special case of logarithm. Let's take a look at example 2 from the learning resources. Simplify log to the base of a of x plus 3 log of base of a in bracket x plus 1 minus 2 times log to the base of a of x. So once again, we see that the bases are all same, so there's no need to use the change of base formula. So in step 1, we have to apply logarithm and solve. We start again by writing down our original equation. Then we use the power law of logarithm, in which this 3 can be written as a power on top of x plus 1, and this 2 can be written as a power on top of x. Then we use the product law of logarithm, and we time multiply together x and x plus 1 cubed. And that would be this answer, this uh, variable. Then we use the quotient law of logarithms, in which we divide this number by this number, and that's going to give us this number. One of the x cancel out with this power, so this is going to be our final answer. Now let's take a look at example 3 from the learning resources. Given that log to the base of 5 of 2 equals to a, and log to the base of 5 of 3 equals to b, express the following in terms of a and b. So first we have log to the base of 5 of 6. It's very easy. We know that 2 times 3 equals to 6. Therefore, log of 5 of 6 equals log to the base of 5, sorry, of 6 equals to log to the base of 5 of 2 plus log to the base of 5 of 3. So that would be a plus b. For the second question of log to the base of 5 of 0 0.75, once again, we don't need to use the change of base formula because it's all to the base of 5. In this case, we have to use a number of log to the base of 5 of 4. We know that this is the same as log to the base of 5 of 2 to the power of 2. And we can bring this power down here, and it is already written on the slide. Therefore, the answer for the second question will be b minus 2a. And for the last one, a log to the base of 5 of 24. 
It's equal to log to the base of 5 of 3 plus log to the base of 5 of 8. We know that 8 is 2 to the power of 3. We can bring the 3 down into the front by the power law, which has already been done on the slide. Therefore, the answer is 3a plus b. That's the end of this lecture. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you